Hey everybody, what's going on? How are you? We're live again. And uh, as you can see, I got my little Joe Vitale kicking in the background because you got to have that good stuff going. All right, so I'm on my way to the gym. I'm on my way to do some shopping. And I just thought, you know what? It's time to share some good stuff with you guys because I've been thinking about some stuff and some stuff has been happening in my life that normally other people would immediately run away and be like, that's it, I don't want to deal with that. That's not for me. But guess what? Life is exactly about that. Life is about getting out of your comfort zone, stretching, sometimes getting rid of some baggage, right? Whether it's thinking, whether it's a job, whether it's friends, whether it's where you live. And, uh, and, and sometimes you still have to deal with it. It's, it's rough. It sucks. You know, sometimes it sucks because sometimes you don't see any results, right? But, uh, sometimes, you know, greatness is, is the path to greatness starts backwards. I think sometimes you have to, you have to go through the pain of all these little things, right? Everybody wants just the limelight right then and there, but there's all these little steps that happen and that those steps are made there on purpose to knock you out, to scare you, to shock you, right? To jolt you. And um, so I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about, okay? So the secret to the online stuff that I'm doing is basically you got to build an uh, online list. You got to build an email list, right? Once you build that email list, you, uh, you, message, these, you message your list, you message your people, Right, you share value with them, and of course, you also share your business opportunity. Okay, uh, here's a little nugget that maybe you didn't know. Okay, so I use Aweber. Right, Aweber is a uh, is a software, is a company that provides a autoresponder. Right, an autoresponder basically is a a system that lets you email uh, whoever's on that list in one shot. Email everybody. Right. Well, there's a little secret to saving money on autorespond and Aweber autoresponder, and that is. In your list that you have, there's gonna be people that unsubscribe, right? But they still stay on your list. So Aweber charges you for those people that still are on your list, don't receive your emails, but they're still on your list. So if you use Aweber, right now when we finish this this little podcast, this, uh, this, this Periscope, I want you to go to your Aweber account, go to your non-subscribers, and delete them because it's gonna lower your price. It's gonna lower your monthly fee for Aweber, okay? So why am I bringing that up? Last night I did that. Last night I went to um, my Aweber account and I was looking at it and I had, oh man, I had, I think it was about 45 people that were unsubscribed that I was floating, that I was carrying, and that was raising my monthly price for Aweber, okay? So, you know, just out of curiosity, I was reading the emails of who had unsubscribed, right? You know, my name is Fernand, Fernand Jimenez, right? So, one of the email, one of the email addresses that I saw said, "Eat my balls, Fernand at gmail.com. <laughs> and I, I, I was just sitting there and I was like, "Wow, somebody went through the, the effort of creating an email with that title, right, and then putting it in my list." Right? That's a hater move right there. That's like, wow. It's like if I was weak, if I was insecure, that would just totally blow. Oh, my God. Imagine. Right? And so that's an example right there that, hey, you can expose yourself to stuff like this. But if you surround yourself with the right people, if you feed your brain with the right ideas, if you get the right tools, if you're working from your circle of influence rather than your circle of concern, this is just a springboard. Right? I'm also going through some issues with, like, my warm market, right? Which I don't even, my warm, it's funny that I, that I call them my warm market because they're not, they're not part of my market at all, right? I don't want to do business with any of these people, right? And usually it's family, right? Usually it's family and friends, right? Um, you know, I, I'm get, you know my, my people are seeing my videos and they're freaking out. They're not liking it. They're, they're saying that I'm crazy. They're saying that I'm ridiculing myself, that everybody's laughing at my expense. And I, you know, I just sit back and I think I'm like, who are these people that they're talking to? You know what I mean? Who are these people that are that are making fun of me? That are that are making them feel uncomfortable? And it reminds me of a time when I started. I've been doing this for almost four years now, right? And there was a time when I started, and where I, I I joined a big company, and I was working under some real powerful leaders, and they would call me like every two days, and they'll be like, "What? What's up? Who have you talked to? Who have you shared this with? Blah blah blah, right?" 
and you know, back then, you know what I said my response was? You know what, I share with my friends and they keep saying I'm a loser, right? And the guy that I was talking to immediately said, well, why, you know, you gotta get new friends because none of my friends say I'm a loser. None of my friends say that my business is a joke. None of my friends say that. So you gotta change friends, right? Now at that point in my life, I was all about looking where I can get butt hurt, right? Looking to be a victim, looking to be who talked to me ugly. I just wanted like yes people around me, right? So when this guy said this to me, I was like, whoa! I was held back and I was like, oh, okay, bye, 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 hung up. And then of course I ran and called everybody like a little baby, you know? Can you believe they said that to me? And of course I was surrounded with the type of people that would be like, oh my God, how dare they say that to you? Yeah, that's all a sham, right? But guess what, let me tell you one thing. I made that up. I had not said anything to anybody, right? Rather than taking the responsibility, rather than, you know, being accountable for myself and saying, you know what, dude, I have not shared it with anybody. You know what, I haven't, I, I, I don't feel comfortable with it. I don't know what to say. Rather than standing up and being a man and saying, you know what, I haven't, I made up. I lied, I lied to the guy. I said, no, I shared it with all my friends and they said it was a joke and that I'm a joke and it's a loser, right? And you know, th that, that, I, that's where I could feel that I have made changes. That's where I could feel that this is working because I don't no longer think like that. I no longer fool myself like that, right? And the other day I was talking to a real dear friend of mine and the same thing for like two hours. He was trying to convince me to, 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 to not do what I was doing and to the point where I was like, listen, you know what? I on I'm only here on this conversation because I value you as a friend. But in reality, if you were a stranger, I'd send, I would hang up because I value my time and I don't have to explain anything to anybody, right? And and I, you know, and I, we were having a conversation in there. So so you know, see you see how I'm, I'm making all this effort. I'm sharing all this stuff that I pay for, right, with you all. And um, and, and initially, first comes the negative, right? The good stuff is coming too because like the friends, the circles that I'm working with, the people that are messaging me, the people that are talking to me, the people that I'm communicating with, these are high hitters. These are high profile people. These are people making great success. And you know, that's how you gotta do. You have, you're right here, right? Where nothing is happening. The people that are having success are right here. And so you just keep going in circles and going in circles and you just keep going there. But eventually you start getting close to the people that really are having success. And you know, eventually you, you it all works, right? But the problem is, is that you're over here and if you move that from here to here so fast, that jolts the universe. That takes the balance away from the universe. The universe works nice when you just go little by little to where you wanna go, right? And so that's what a lot of people don't wanna deal with. That's what a lot of people are scared with, scared about, right? But I'm here to tell you, listen, it's okay. Just surround yourself with the right people. Read the right books. Think the right things, get the right tools, and and it, you could you will weather all this, right? And not only this, this gives you this gives you material, this gives you a chance to write good emails, it gives you a chance to write good copy. So don't be scared of this, right? Crave this, all right? A lot of people talk about attention, uh, attraction marketing, but in reality, what we kind of want to do is we want to do repulsive marketing. We want to run people away. We want people because that way we get to qualify them. All right, so yes, it was kind of a little short one, but I wanted to share that with you because it, it, you know, these are things that are gonna happen. And if these things are not happening, right, then you're playing it too safe. Now, you may be one of those lucky ones that you don't go through all this and you just immediately have success, right? You immediately connect with the right people, you immediately implement, you immediately take action, and you immediately start rocking it, right? But guess what? If you don't get any of these haters, Right, you're gonna set the, the dummy up, which is you, on a higher pedestal, and when you do get slammed, it's gonna destroy you, right? So don't worry about it. Do the things that you gotta do. Give the value out there. Share what you got, all right? A lot of people say, don't share, don't give anything, don't give it away for free. Give it away for free, give it all away for free, because in reality, there's always something to pay. There's always something that you can sell, there's always something that they could buy, but you, your brand, your value, is 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 what's gonna be separate you from everybody else I was just right now I was uh, reading an email because I'm an eye doctor right and one of the eye doctors wrote po posted in a, uh, in a group in Facebook a letter by a customer 
right? A customer that was like, hey, um, I, I am, uh, I'm in this provider and I'm not happy with my eye doctor and I want to know if you can A, send me a list of all your prices and if you can waive the fees for contact lens fitting because if you can waive the fees for contact lens fitting, well then that's, we'll, we'll go and do business with you. If not, that's a deal breaker. And by the way, give this message to the person that's in charge of picking of uh, making the decision so that we don't waste time with this and kindly go ahead and send me the information, right? And you know, you had a bunch of optometrists saying, oh my God, da, da, da. well guess what? That's an insurance person, that's a per insurance companies are basically a lame way of marketing, right? And the optometrist businesses, they don't realize that because they don't have time. I mean, we were taught to be an eye doctor, we weren't taught how to run businesses, much less market businesses, right? So what do they do? They settle for these unqualified patients that come in entitled, right and they come in and they want everything for free or they just want to pay very little for what they got but it all comes back down to the fact that they did not learn the market division and even more so they did not establish themselves and put them in a position of sharing value in the market right uh, there's a big big opportunity for especially the optical business to create a high valued None of this sale, sale here, sale there, but a high valued optical and where you go in there and you learn about your eyes and you learn about your health and you go out there and you share with the world and everybody's so excited, right? Nobody's doing that because everybody's running, chasing the numbers, right? So that's just a little example right there of how don't be scared, share the value, right? Don't be scared, do what you gotta do and don't be scared when you get those haters because that means that you're doing something right, okay? All right, so you have a great day. Always keep growing. Always keep sharing. Remember, swipe it up, swipe it to the left. I didn't get any hearts here, but I know that I got two. I got two here watching me, so it's all good. I love you all. And yeah, don't give it up. Don't give it up. Don't quit because you know what? If you quit, there's a line of people behind you that we're not going to quit, right? And it takes time. It takes a little bit of time, all right? But you know what? It, it's worth it. It is so worth it. I love you all. Have a great day.